Now speaking of schools, parents, it is about that time. Many of your kids are approaching that first day of school for the new year. Oh yeah, House and County Schools are hosting over 30 meet and greet sessions and several new student orientations. This is where students can meet their teachers before the school year starts off. Well, Taylor Hicks is live at Northside Elementary School. Okay, Taylor, why so many meet and greets this year? Good morning, Wanya and Caitlin. So the reason the district hosts these meet and greets and student orientations is so that the parents know exactly who's teaching their child. And so the children know who's teaching them. And the reason why they're having so many sessions this year is so that they can reduce the number of people in the building due to COVID-19. Richard Rogers is the deputy superintendent of Houston County Schools, but outside of work, he's a father to two girls, both enrolled in the district. He says meeting your child's teacher before the first day of school gives parents a sense of relief. You want to feel the school, you want to meet the teacher, you want to walk in his or her classroom and, and just know where your baby's going to be all year. While Rogers is preparing for his daughter's meet and greets, he's helping the district get ready as well. We are having meet and greets and welcoming our students here to uh, Houston County and we're just thrilled to have them in person. The Houston County School District hosts meet and greet sessions to prepare students and families for the school year. At the sessions, parents and their children can meet their teachers, view schedules, tour the school, and see the classroom they will be in. Crystal Tucker is a K through five teacher at Northside Elementary School. I'm ready to have meet and greet this um, upcoming Friday with my students, being able to hear all about their summer stories and begin building my relationships with my families. Tucker says she's been looking forward to this year's meet and greet because it will be in person. Last year we had a drive through meet and greet, so it was a lot different. It was very quick and very informal. Um, we did get to meet our families, but this year they get to tour our school and it really puts that ease of mind with their families being able to see the protocols that we currently have in place. Rogers says this year they will stagger out the times and date of the sessions for the safety of students, families and teachers. We, what we did is we lengthened the times of the meet and greets and the student orientations and then a lot of our principals then use those times to strategically say let's have all third grade parents at this time and fourth grade parents at this time and some did it by alphabetical letter. Richard Rogers says if you have more than one child enrolled into the same school call the principal so you can schedule a time to meet so that you don't have to go to the school twice. Reporting live in Houston County, I'm Taylor Hicks, 13 WMAZ News. Well, thank you so much, Taylor. You're going to have us ready for the first day of school. The first set of meet and greets kick off this Thursday. July 29th and they will last until August 2nd, which is the day before the kids wow. go back to school. Yes, you can find all the dates and times right now on 13 WMAZ.com. Such an exciting time for those kids. Very much so.